Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to go over a couple things before we get into today's video. Uh, the first thing you may have noticed, um, the channel is now called Synergy Race Parts instead of Slow Mock Racing. Uh, we decided to do that just to keep everything kind of more cohesive with our company. Um, up until now, the channel's always been focused around the Mach 1 and it probably still will heavily focus around the Mach 1. Uh, but we do have other cars that we want to feature on the channel in the future uh, and also customer builds, product showcases, event coverage, um, things like that. So we just wanted to kind of make it a broader spectrum. Um, anyways, we hope everyone has a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and we hope all of you have had a great year. Uh, we appreciate everybody that comments on the videos. Uh, please subscribe to the videos, share the channel. We would love to see this channel grow um, just to uh, kind of show what we're show what we're doing. So uh, we're not going to cover everything today. I got a lot of videos coming for you guys over the next couple of weeks. I apologize. There's been some delay as we were at PRI and have been very busy. So it's time to get back to work on the car here. Let us know what you guys think in the comments about the build and what we're doing with the car. And let's get into today's video. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff sitting here. I wanted to uh, kind of go over, um, you know, where we were able to save some weight on the car. So I weighed the rear end housings. Uh, I saved 15 pounds between the old housing and the new housing. And then on the axles, uh, I saved 20 pounds from the, uh, the old axles to the new axles. Some of that is the difference in the length. Some of the difference is also that the uh, new axles are gun drilled. So that's where they drill a hole right down the right down through the middle of the axle to lighten them up. And then they also have uh, lightened flanges where they machine out some of the flange just to lighten up the flange a little bit. So that's 35 pounds um, between that stuff right there in the rear end, which is, I think, awesome. Um, so that was the expensive weight to get out, right? Because obviously that stuff wasn't free. The rest of this stuff um, was more or less free weight that I was able to take out. So my car already had some um, sheet metal floors in it. So we cut out the factory floors underneath of that. And uh, I'll show you guys all that here in just a couple minutes. Um, we also were able to cut out um, a lot of, you know, other stuff in the car that I'm going to show you guys. But all in all, uh, not including the weight of the tote, this saved about 60 to 61 pounds, what's in this box right here. And I'm probably even missing a couple of little odds and ends. Um, I do have a couple other things that I'm still going to uh, be able to cut out and save some weight. So I'm going to go over that with you guys right now. Uh, also, I can save some weight right here. So, uh, and I've been working on that actually. Um, so, you know, I want to personally lose about another 40 or 50 pounds by the time the car is running, um, which I have that to lose. I've gotten kind of complacent in that department for sure. So, um, you know, all that is free. Me losing weight is free. It's just hard work. Uh, but I don't want to go crazy with like, you know, carbon doors and carbon front end. This car has all factory body panels, the factory hood with the shaker weighs, I think it thinks like 55 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I might even see if I can lighten up the hood a little bit, um, taking some of the support out of the bottom that we might not need, but we'll see. Uh, we'll kind of see, but anyways, uh, let me grab the camera and show you guys uh, what we've been doing. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Here's what we've cut out. I know this looks insane probably. Uh, I'm still actually gonna cut out um, that area up here, uh, which they call the package tray area. Um, not gonna really save much weight there. I mean, maybe when I cut everything out, maybe two to three pounds, um, but and I'm trying to get weight out wherever wherever I can because all, all this stuff is gonna get covered back up either with uh, tin floors, which, so that's part of the reason I, I, I did this. So obviously, you know, you had your factory floors um, in this area for your back seats. Well, I already had tin, uh, had tin work covering that. And I'll show you all a photo of that right now. So as you can see, the tin work already covered all of this area. So I was essentially just carrying all this extra weight. Um, and then we did cut the, uh, 
we cut the tunnel out for a couple reasons. Um, we're going to build a new tunnel that's uh, basically flush with uh, flush with this here. And the reason for that is the car is going to be really low. And if you don't do that, the drive shaft will hit your tunnel. Um, the other reason for that is for this right here. So my cage, um, when the guy did my cage update, uh, he didn't add a number one bar in there, which, um, you know, we updated it from a 10 point and I think it just got missed. I, I don't know. I've seen 25, five cages without them, but as far as I know, it is required. At least it is now. So he actually, uh, the guy that did the cage bent me this bar and we're going to be adding that. So it will actually go over the tunnel and it will intersect with the uh, rocker bar, which is your, your lower of the two bars there. So it'll intersect there. Uh, we cut these bars out and notched them. It'll lay on top of this bar and it'll come over, over the tunnel and go over to the, uh, to the other side. And then we will also, uh, tie that in uh, a couple bars from there to the upper, uh, upper torque boxes. And then well. what we're doing here, so we kept factory frame rails cause we got to keep factory frame rails, but then we're doing tubular, um, from here back to this bar here. And part of the reason for that, um, part of it was, was weight. Uh, part of it is just to kind of clean things up. And then the other thing is what started all of this is I have to, uh, relocate my shock bar up higher for the shocks that I'm going to be running. Um, they, they have quite a bit of extension and you know, the factory location wasn't going to work. Um, and even with as low as the car was going to be, it was going to hit my shock bar. So that's what opened this whole can of worms. But so now I'll have a bar that goes from here to here, which will per perfectly line up with this upper bar that we put in. And then we can run a bar between those two, um, to run a crossbar for the shocks. And then we'll also probably do like, um, maybe like a V to that bar, um, to reinforce it. We'll definitely have some, some other bars to reinforce it. And then, uh, probably from where the shock bars are, we'll do like maybe another V up to this bar and down to here. So kind of to triangulate everything and, and just make it really, really strong. But yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, so. I originally had a bolt on parachute mount from Roxall and Motorsports, which this is what's now left of it. Um, it was bolted to the bumper when the, when the gentleman did the chassis, he added this bar between the frame rails and tied it into the parachute mount. Well, I don't need two bars. So just cutting that bar out, uh, was almost, it was almost six pounds of savings, five and a half, I think right there. And, uh, I still have to shorten these and then I'm going to gusset it, you know, from this bar to here as well. Um, I'm going to try and make that as strong as possible because this will also be my trailer hitch mount for when we do uh, drag and drive events. Um, but yeah, I mean, we cut, we definitely cut a lot out. Um, it might look a little crazy um, right now, but once it's all done, it's going to be really, really nice. Um, I might end up doing carbon floors, at least for the trunk. Um, possibly might redo carbon in the area up there too, just because we're adding bars, so it's going to change the way the floors were done anyways. So we'll kind of see on that, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's coming along great. You can see it's, it's a lot of stuff down in there, but, um, all in all, uh, weight, man, if you can get weight out of a car, that is huge, huge benefit to you. Um, and I, I don't want to go crazy. Like I'm not spending, you know, $2,500 on carbon doors. Like I want to keep the car all factory body panels. I just think that the fit and finish is, is better. Um, the doors are heavy. I'm going to take some weight out of those. Like I'll take the door bars out, uh, since I have uh, the cage, I don't need the crash bars in the doors. Um, but that's only going to be like 15 pounds between the two of them. But man, if, if I can ultimately take, you know, 80 pounds, 90 pounds out of this car, even with like what we've added back in, that would be, uh, that'd be phenomenal. So yeah, going to call it a day. Um, hopefully by New Year's, which is uh, only a week away, we'll have all these bars in the back done and we'll have the uh, shocks mounted and the rear end mounted. Um, then we can kind of figure out that number one bar that I was, uh, was telling you all about. But yeah, let us know what you guys think about the, about the progress. I mean, I know this probably looks... Um, pretty wild with all this stuff cut out right now, but it's, it's going to look great when it's done here soon. I promise you that. So please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment. Let us know what y'all think about the build so far. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of 
awesome updates coming that I'll be dropping in some videos the next couple of weeks for y'all. And we will see y'all in the next one.